observer at uh, the uh, quality, uh, quality of life meetings uh, during this last round of construction activity representing Community Board 2. Now, over the nearly six years of meetings, residents routinely raised two recurring issues that never got resolved. The first is the need for real-time responsiveness to their complaints and the lack of monitoring and enforcement of construction-related infractions from air and noise pollution to falling construction debris issues to idling vehicles and double parking. And then the second issue was event-related activities, uh, the issues of tra traffic, illegal parking, and public safety. Enforcement was seen as virtually non-existent, and the quality of life meetings themselves are viewed uh, pretty much as useless. Only representatives from Empire State Development Corporation and the developer attend, and city agencies don't. Now, you know, the problem has really been the disconnect between the relationship of the state, which is responsible for project construction, and the job of city agencies to deliver services as well as enforce uh, the construction-related public safety rules. Unfortunately, there, there weren't any negotiated operating agreements between the parties uh, to deal with residents' concerns in real time. Now, the state did develop something called the, the complaint log response system that was effectively useless. Uh, when a complaint was received, uh, the state contacted the responsible city agency, noted the incident, and contacted the logbook and reported it as resolved. However, there was no follow-up because for the authority, referring the complaint to another agency was considered the resolution. But there's promising news today, and that is that residents' concerns have finally got the attention of, borough, of the borough president's office. City agencies deliver services, and the borough president's office has oversight over them. So this means that there now is a realistic opportunity to manage the problems we know are all going to uh, likely arise again, but with some thoughtful solutions for change. Just in time for this next burst of construction activity, two things have happened. First, now the borough, the borough Hall has a representative that regularly attends quality of life meetings, understands residents' concerns and needs, um, and has offered up his office's assistance to resolve issues that involve city agencies. And the state clearly wants and needs the help. But most significant is that there are discussions underway at Borough Hall about having Atlantic Yards issues included as a permanent quarterly agenda item at borough service cabinet meetings. Community Board 2 has been aggressive in making the case, uh, as has most recently the, uh, the, the Pacific Heights uh, Neighborhood Development Corporation. They're working together to push this initiative. Now, the, the borough service cabinet is important, and that's because it, it has its oversight authority over city agencies to deliver uh, service delivery functions and considers interagency problems that impede service delivery. The borough president chairs the cabinet, which meets monthly with representatives from the city agencies, uh, along with community board district managers. If approved, this will give Atlantic Yards issues official attention for the first time and an administrative mechanism through which to get them resolved. Now, the solutions are likely to have staffing costs that will have to be shared among all of the parties because the borough president's office will not and really should not be the sole funder. But even getting just cost estimates for viable solutions would be a useful first step. Now, consider as an example the uh, service cabinet potential through the, the long term problem of traffic safety and illegal parking on event nights. Unless fixed, these conditions will persist as long as the arena is open, and it, they really should be addressed. As, a, as service cabinet agenda items, they would be assigned to a working group to come up with proposed solutions that will require working through multi-agency planning and coordination processes, including other things like uh, uh, negotiating police department work rule changes to allow ticketing of illegally parked vehicles <coughs> after 8 p.m. 
um, developing new Department of Transportation intersection control officer strategies and, and staff reassignments for dealing with problematic intersections along Flatbush and Atlantic, and then determining staffing and budget requirements and determining who pays. These are actions that can only be undertaken through the auspices of the service cabinet. So, to the extent that Atlantic Yards inches do become service cabinet agenda items, and the borough president's office can successfully work through cost sharing requirements with, with the state authority of officials, this would be an administrative mechanism going forward through which we can begin to proactively address residents' quality of life and public issue, safety issues during this next construction phase. But to be clear, this process is not yet in place and it will only impact, impact matters related to city agency operations. Uh, there have already been some missteps in uh, getting this implemented and there's a major reorganization going on in the for our president's office right now. So implementation is likely uh, to be even slower in getting done, but nevertheless, Let's push to keep the concept on their radar and get such a process in place.